Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks. Wow, you guys are, are so excited and smiling and friendly. Thank you, Provo, for being that way. I appreciate that. <laughs> Have you noticed, in general, people aren't as friendly as they used to be? Have you noticed that a little bit? I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. A couple years ago, I was out at a bar, met this woman. We talked all night. We flirted a little bit. End of the night came. I was like, hey, can I, uh, can I give you a ride home? She was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We just met. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we've been talking for like four hours. What are you worried about? She's like, yeah, I just... <laughs> I don't want to wake up in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, don't be silly. You're not going to wake up. <laughs> she thought it was funny as well. We've been married ever since. And um, it was a happy ending to that story. Wasn't that nice? Yeah. We actually, we actually just celebrated our anniversary. I'll tell you this, I think I love this woman more today than the day we got married. Yeah. yeah. God, was she a witch that day. Oh my God, me, me, me. I do, I do, I do, all about her. Happy to be married though, I started to be single. Any single people here by applause? Single people out in the audience? Oh, got a, got a woo back there. Those are my favorite single people. <laughs> the ones all excited about it, woo! <laughs> like it's a big accomplishment. <laughs> I'm not making funny. I was single for a long time, just never excited about it, you know. <laughs> for me, it just meant that despite the fact that I was in my 30s, I still had to list my mother as the person to contact in case of an emergency. <laughs> Nothing to woo <laughs> about. I don't list my wife now as the person to contact in case of, Do you know what I'm talking about when you have to fill out an application, some paperwork? They're like, who should we contact if something goes wrong? I don't put her down. Things get worse if my wife shows up. She is not good in emergencies. She's terrible. If it's this bad, it gets up to here when she gets there. You gotta call a whole new number, 1011. Call them back and be like, hey, send twice as much or whatever you're sending. More ambulances, cop cars, whatever. She's here, it's not good. It's, got, it's worse than last time. I don't put her down. Now when they ask that, when they're like, who should we contact in case of emergency? I write down, Bruce Willis. Things get better when he shows up. Have you seen the movies? He improves the situation, things improve. And think about it, like right now, if I had a heart attack here on stage, you know, and then the staff's like, oh my God, what do we do? Check the paperwork. And then they're like, oh, he knows Bruce Willis. <laughs> they're gonna think I'm important, right? They're gonna be like, do something, kick him, do something, kick him. <laughs> and listen, I'm not a lawyer, but I think legally, if I put him down, he's gotta show up. I think that's how it works. <laughs> I think that's the law. They call him up, he's doing Die Hard 9 or something. They're like, hey, Steve Mazon, comedian, just had a heart attack in Provo. I don't know him. Doesn't matter, he puts you down. Get up here, really quick, fly up. Get in the helicopter, fly up to Provo. He's, he's collapsed in front of a fake delicatessen. Find him right away. Again. <laughs> Put someone fun down, that's my point. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.